folks, Dustin here with Star City Savages, and some of you may or may not know this, but I'm actually an author. My most recent book is titled Dark Passage, a Drowned War Novella, and the reason why it's a novella is because it doesn't quite meet the word limit to be qualified as a novel. When I finally get around to releasing it as an audiobook, I will most likely be combining several of the different uh, volumes into a single one. But for right now, I wanted to take a little time to, to read the first section of it just to wet your whistle. So, Flotilla Refuse. In a lost future, the world is covered by an endless ocean. For the people who call the junk flotilla of refuse home, life on the lost sea is marked by brutality and greed. Caught between the warring megacities of Flotilla Oceania and Flotilla Pacifica, the refugees need all their skills, tenacity, and courage to survive the drowned war. Chapter 1 Sunrise broke over the barren skyline and on to the murky waters below. Light touched the abandoned city and stretched onto the endless sea before reaching the floating junk pile of refuse. Refuse, the greatest garbage heap known to man, bobbed in the gentle sea as the never-ending supply of junk bolted onto its four aircraft, car <coughs> aircraft carriers creaked and moaned. Every so often a piece would break free and either clank onto the makeshift docks or splash into the waters below. Annie Seven sat drinking hot tea on the roof of her shack. The favela she lived in smelled like garbage and old fish. All the more reason to keep the hot tea. She sipped as close to her face as possible. Despite the abject poverty of the favela and refurbished slapdash that was her neighborhood, Annie was glad to be there. She could watch the sunrise in the small things. It was the small things. A little joy she had not been allowed on her old flotilla. Flotilla Daedalus. There were speculations, rumors, and theories as to how the world flooded, but not even the most learned historians and scientists alive could give a definite answer. Not even Flotilla Daedalus, the sanctioned flotilla in which Annie originated, had a complete record of how the world drowned. To Annie, that was not a surprise. She was sure the artificial intelligence that controlled the flotilla knew. The Daedalus AI was careful to scrub anything deemed harmful to the overall mental health of the population, the result of that being a gigantic, super-powered nanny state. Annie ran her fingers through her cropped, steel-colored hair and felt the cranial implant fused to her skull. Everyone on Daedalus had one. The implant was a method of monitoring the person's mood, allowing them to access the flotilla data net and downloading information directly into the brain. The implant was incredibly efficient, too efficient. Everyone that grew up on Daedalus felt empty, like their inner monologue was just an echo of someone else's voice. She yawned and covered her thin lip and rubbed Rubbing the crust from her monolid hazel eyes, Annie opened the hatch to her tin roof and shuffled inside. She was waiting to catch the sunrise, partly because it was beautiful, and partly because it was dangerous to walk to work in the dark. All right. Well, that's just a few little sampling there, the opening. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, if you want to read more, there'll be links below uh, to Dark Passage, a Drowned War novella. Now, this is the second in the series, so you're going to want to pick up Lex Talos first and read it to get a little bit more of Annie's backstory. Anyway, I hope you like it. Like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, and, uh, you know, stay savage, folks. Thanks for your time.